So in the end, I want to just give some more short, quick tips on how you can improve your working with the mixer. And that is, if you want to scroll through your channels, it is possible to use the mouse wheel, but it depends on where your mouse is. If you have your mouse placed at the wrong spot, scrolling will change the values of where you are right now at the moment. And if you don't want that, you have to go to a certain place with your mouse to scroll the mixer channels. Sometimes that is not very practical, so I use my hardware controller for scrolling. Or what I think is also sometimes practical is scrolling up here in the overview. So if you have activated the channel overview in your window layout, then this tiny area appears and in this area your mouse becomes a hand and you just can grab the overview and scroll to the left and right when you drag that window around. The second one is in your mixer you have a L button. which you can globally deactivate here in your mixer toolbar. What that does is that routes a certain channel to the headphones of the mixing engineer. That is like a solo function, but only for the mixing engineer. That means you can hear it on your headphone or the speakers you have configured to that certain output, but all the others can not hear that solo. What is that good for? Let's say you made a mix for your musicians or you're playing back something over your studio speakers and you want to listen to something in particular without having to apply this change to everyone else. That means if you press the L button, you can hear that channel solo on your headphones while everyone else still will listen to the full mix over the studio speakers. Or you can listen to certain channels on your headphones while the headphone mixes for all the musicians won't change at all. Another function which is really good to know is if you have your tracks visible like that and you want to open a virtual instrument, it is possible in the mixer if you press and hold down the edit button of a VSTI channel. Another possibility would be to hold the ALT or OPTION key and just click once on the EDIT button. That will open the VSTI window as well. And a third function which is really cool is the SOLO DEFEAT. So what happens in Cubase is if you solo a channel that will create a series of events. For example, that means that a certain channel which has a effect, if you solo that one, the effect will also be soloed. Or if you have routed tracks to a group and you solo that track, the group will also be soloed. If you have effects, on that group the effect will also be soloed so that means sometimes using the solo button will do more than one thing also 
If I press that solo button, you see these tracks get muted. Of course, because that's why I would use the solo button in the first place. But sometimes you want to compare different of your channels together. And then you could, for example, say I solo this one and I listen to that and to that. But then I want to have that, but I don't want to have these two. And I want to have that and that, but I don't want to have that. So that is a lot of solo clicking. Um, what you can do is you can use solo defeat to compare different tracks together. Let's say I always wanted to listen to that channel, no matter what I click on the other ones. So that channel should always be open. That is, for example, interesting sometimes for effect channels. That means I would use the solo defeat function and I click on solo with the alt or option key. And right now, if I click on solo for that track, you see these three are still open. They wouldn't be if I undo that function. So if I click on solo, you see these three are muted. If I want to compare this track to different effects, then the solo defeat function would be very helpful because right now you see if I activate an effect, the effect is still muted. Even though I did activate that effect or another one, all my effects are still muted and I can't hear the changes that I did. Therefore, I have to either go here and solo them manually or I have to unsolo the track and solo it again then I can hear the effects as well. Another possibility would be I use the solo defeat. That means these channels are always open no matter what I do here. And right now I can easily listen to an effect and the channels are already open. So I hope these informations were helpful to you and you did learn some things to improve your working with the Cubase Mixer.